Tiger fit in his shirt, wouldn't you? What's going on? What's up, dude? Just hanging out, man. <laughs> nice seeing you too. This is like this is like a different country in here, man. <laughs> yeah. I would. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Nice new building. What do you guys have? Like two ounces of meat? I mean, we're gonna go catabolic. Not bad. It wasn't bad at all. I Yo, what's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, with an old friend. No, no, not just because he's old now. We've known, <laughs> we've known each other for a long time. James, man, what's thanks up, for having me. BPI headquarters in Florida, and uh, I flew in here. It was beautiful out, but somehow it's cold today. He's wearing a jacket. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, we have a, a long history. I just want to give you guys a background. Obviously, everybody wants to know who they buy their supplements from. You want to know what companies you're working with. You want to know where your money's going, what it's going into, where the company started, what their mission is, and mainly, I like to know the people behind it. I really do. And um, again, I've known, we go into this, I've known James for, man, now it's, it's, it's got to be 10, 10 more, years? More, more. I think we're probably yeah. going on 14 years, probably. We're aging ourselves. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, funny thing is, how we met, we actually worked together at Weeder. Um, we actually went on some really cool car rides together, and uh, <laughs> it was cool to me, but uh, he, he was, uh, if you guys didn't know, I had a big, I, I, I ate a lot of broccoli, right? We are on our way from, what was No, I, I'd, I'd say a lot is an understatement. <laughs> yeah, no, he used to trap me in the car after eating literally platefuls of broccoli. This was like his kick that he was on for a while. It yeah. was two chicken breasts and it was two plates of broccoli. Literally so. plates. Pounds yeah, plates. So. You know, you can only imagine after eating plates of broccoli at every meal what that does to <laughs> one's digestive system and trapping me in a small compact car from Atlanta yeah. to North Carolina was not a fun trip for me. So, yeah, those are the those are the good old days. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to talk about the time. We're in the middle of tra we're stuck in traffic. I don't know where we are. This guy gets out, hops out of the car without telling us. Goes into the median to pee in a porta potty because they were doing construction. I was on the freeway. We're, we almost had to leave your ass. <laughs> yeah, we were stuck in a traffic jam. Hey, when you got to go, you got to go. He really had to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we used to actually pay attention to liquid intake and stuff, right? <laughs> but hey, anyway, we've come a long way. I'm obviously, um, I've obviously moved up to janitor at tigerfitness.com. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and I work in the warehouse here at BPI. Actually, speaking of what, what do you do at BPI? I mean, people might not know, and this is the thing is that. BPI, you see it, they're such a big, powerful company. I mean, shoot, you say be powerful on your shirts. It's a powerful company. Now, little do you know that this is actually a hardcore niche, we live the lifestyle type company. And that's something that I think we need to kind of say. Now, how did this start and, and essentially what's your role? What was your role at the beginning? What's your role now? And so you know, as you already know, been in the industry a long time. Everything from working on the, on the supplement side to working with the magazines. Don't worry, that was just my microphone. <laughs> uh, delicate piece of equipment. It is. Uh, working with the magazines, working on the supplement side, and, you know, done everything from bodybuilding like you to, uh, I mean, you name it in this industry. I got a real passion for this industry. And it was always something that, that wanted to do. Just, you know, sit around thinking about, hey, you know, if I ever had a company, maybe I'd do this or maybe I'd do that. And, you know, different ways that, uh, you know, I mean, really, not to sound cheesy about it, that you could help people. And so formed BPI in 2009. Uh, so the co-founder and the vice president. And really, that's what we're all about is we've got a passion for the industry. Everyone that works here, they come in, they bring their food. You know, they've got their pre pre made meals. So whatever you know, that nasty smelling thing. Yeah, when you walk into the break room and it smells like, you know, tilapia and broccoli. Uh, I know that, you know. Oh yeah. Brings back memories. It but, brings uh, back some very bad memories. But not you as know, bad as your broccoli memories. No, but. no, yeah, they were worse for me than you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, we have a culture here. We live the lifestyle. We're passionate about fitness. We're passionate about our own results and passionate about the results of our customers. 
And so that's why we do what we do. And uh, no, it's, you know, you walk out behind me. As a matter of fact, you can see it right behind me here. We've got almost 4,000 square feet of gym out there. So yeah. every, everyone comes in early in the morning, they train or they train on their lunch break or they're here after work yeah. training. So I think that's important, you know, that people know that that we're, we're not a bunch of empty suits here. We're not just a guy, you know, guys coming in. I'm the in. best dressed guy here, believe it or not. Yeah, you know, hey, I come in every day and I wear my <laughs> gym shorts and, uh, you know, usually have the hat on backwards. But, uh, you know, it's very casual as far as the att attire, but we take what we do very serious. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we're putting out the best products and that, you know, everything that we do, we're proud of. Now, speaking of the best products, and this is something we're known for Tiger Tested. We're known for not only having the Tiger Test, but we're known for outing some people who might not have been that, that good with Santa Claus that year. <laughs> um, but we have this whole Tiger Tested thing. Now, one thing to look at is, you know, your adherence to GMPs and quality control and the fact that you're very proactive with the FDA and, and with label claims and all that good stuff. Is that something that, what, what made you say, okay, we need to be, we need to be right on this. This needs to be what we need to do. You know, I look at it from a really simple perspective, which is what would my expectations as a consumer be? What would I want out of a supplement? What's going to make me feel comfortable taking it? Mm -hmm. So everything that we do is really just based off that simple premise, you know? make things that we ourselves would want to take and we do everyone here takes our own you know takes bpi products every day you know every day i'm taking you know bcas and i'm taking blocks before my workout i'm taking you know one of our vortex i take our you know creatine products so that's what i want i want to take a product that i feel good about and that I, that i have confidence in so that's why we go through those extra steps to make sure that we're giving our consumer exactly what we would expect uh, looking at at bpi what you see for the future of BPI moving forward. What do you see 2014? Obviously, aside from our epic footage and epic things we're gonna be doing together as companies, what do you see BPI bringing to the table in 2014? I think one of the biggest things right off the bat is, is some of what we're doing here. Uh, it's my goal for people to have a better understanding of who we are. We start off as a, a very small, hardcore little company. Stick and figure company. Man. Yeah, you know, we had the stick figure guy and that was our company representative. And uh, we're too busy just working hard and, you know, making sure that we put out great products and really didn't have those opportunities to get out there and, and relay this message of who we are and what we believed in. And so that's one of our goals is to share a little bit more, give people an, an inside look into the company and what we do and why we do it. Mm -hmm. So that's one. And then the other is to keep on innovating, keep coming out with great products, things that are cutting edge and, uh, you know, really focusing on our consumers results. So if you go to the BPI website, it's not just about our products, it's about our culture, but it's also about tools to help them reach their goals. So information on training, information on nutrition, because as you know, it, it's the sum of the parts. It's all those things put together. Yeah. There's no such thing as a magic bullet. You take one product and you get these you know, amazing results. You gotta put all the pieces together. Yep. You know, great training, great nutrition, and great supplementation together you know, with the hard work, that's what gets you the results. So yeah. we're trying to promote that lifestyle because that's what we care about is people's results. And at the end of the day, our tagline is nothing works unless you do. There you go. And I, I think anybody, that's the thing about a company who actually practices what they preach is that he's been, I actually was at your show, Southern State 2008? 2005. That was oh like, man, we're, we're yeah, old, that was, dude. Yeah, that was, that was my last bodybuilding show, uh, 2005. But you won your class. I did. I thought you should have won overall if I recall. Yeah, well, so did, did you, I. Wasn't this little like four foot tall guy who weighed like 380 pounds? It was actually the guy in the, the weight class above me that won. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I wasn't even heartbroken about it. It, for me, competing in that show, or actually any show for that matter, was never about winning or losing. It was the challenge for me of just bringing my best. And as long as I brought my best, I knew that whoever beat me, had better bring something great. Yeah, and, uh, you brought it that day. And so I brought it and I felt good about that. And yeah, so no regrets. 2005, I remember I remember it pretty vividly. Yeah. I remember you were really happy eating sweet potatoes. I'm like, how are you doing today? Well, I have sweet potatoes. Yeah. I feel good. <laughs> well, you know, that's all the bodybuilding conundrum of dieting, you know. Uh. It's when, when you can have, you know, when you got your protein, you can't have your carbs. And when you can finally have carbs, you're like, well, those carbs would taste great if I only had some water to wash it down, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's but, why he's not competing anymore. But, no, uh, no. For me, 
you have to put so much into it. I mean, you're running companies. Everybody keeps asking me why I'm not, dude, we made the Inc. 500 two years in a row. I have no time to actually bring it. Last year I brought it and I almost killed myself doing it. And you would do this. So you've had, I mean, we, we're pretty extreme guys. I mean, right? We do everything extreme. Take it to the extreme. limit. And so, I mean, both of us have worked so hard in our career that we've created health problems. Imagine what happened if we threw competing into the mix this year. Well, I've also got other things to consider. Just like you, I've got a family, family. so I've got kids and I've got a wife and I've got the business. And so now my goals are probably, you know, more in line with most people's goals where, you know, fitness isn't here, you know, at this extreme, but it's maintaining or finding that balance, you know, the balance between being in shape, living a healthy lifestyle, you know, my family, my career, trying to juggle all those things and find a balance between all of them. So that's, you know, that's where I'm at now. Bodybuilding is a little bit of an extreme and uh, hey, I'm, I enjoyed it when I did it. To do it now, unfortunately, probably take away from too many other things that are equally as important to me. Yes, it would. It would. But, <clears throat> you know, to, to think back, just to bring this all together, you know, just uh, many years ago now, back in 2004, we were working together. You know, now looking at, we're, we're over on this end, we actually get a chance to work together. And this is one of the good guys in the industry. You know, he's been around for, I mean, we're, we're old. We used to be so young. In okay, you, you got to stop saying that. It's, it's, just de it's depressing. 2005, really? Ah. No, you know, I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm excited about the opportunity yeah. working closer with you it's guys. It's going to be great. Because your vision is very in line with ours, which is you do more than just sell supplements on your site. You yes. provide information to people to help them achieve their goals. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the the two goals of the companies are very much in line. And so we're very excited about the opportunity to work more with you. It's exciting. I appreciate you having me out to Florida. And again, um, take a look at every, everything you guys got now, but keep an eye on what's coming out. Keep an eye on the videos, keep an eye on everything. We have a lot of cool stuff in store for you guys. But once again, man, thanks for having me. Cool, man, dude, it's good this hanging is, out yeah, again. It's, it's been good, man. Yeah. And um, yeah, guys, again, feel free to check in. Uh, this is a brand that you know I'm gonna support because I know the people behind it are good people, have your best interests in mind. And, you know, obviously, they want you to reach your, reach your goals. We want you to reach your goals. And that's not a game. 